from Mr. Midwars. So I know that today you uh, applied for this job interview. So first of all, why did you want to join this job? Yeah, absolutely. And thanks for giving me the uh, opportunity today. I'm really delighted that uh, the company does a lot of innovative things, especially in the science and technology. So I really want to work with people and innovate, provide the right solutions to the people. Absolutely. Okay. So let's jump right into it. So your job interview today is pretty simple. You have to answer the question one plus two. This is an extremely complicated equation though. So you have 10 minutes to solve this. Okay. Uh, Take your time. I'll start the timer. Gotcha. Can you give me probably 30 seconds or so for me to gather the thoughts? Absolutely. It's the one plus two, you mean the rational numbers? One plus two. Got it. Okay. I I think I have an idea on how to solve this one. Yeah. Thank you. So just to make sure the way I'm thinking through this is how do I apply some of these uh, concepts in math and team collaboration and uh, how do I communicate with you in a very open way so that you know what's happening here. And I want to focus on the process and the outcome. Does that make sense? Okay. So one uh, can be written as thousand minus 999. The reason I'm doing this is I want to further simplify one. And uh, I think this is actually a great way to simplify it. Right. Do you not think that this is complicated? So we really look for the solutions, the best of the solutions and how do we innovate. Initially, it might look like as though they are complex or we are trying to complicate. But in fact, that's how many of the things in the corporate works. And that, 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 those are the principles that I'm applying here, by the way. Yeah. And two can be written as, now I want to apply squares. So it can be something like four square minus seven times two. Oh my goodness. I'm slightly under pressure now, but I am actually proven to be work great under pressure, by the way. So let me just redo this four square, which is 16, 16, Mm -hmm. I need to get two. So seven times two. Okay. Okay. Now I think I'm uh, getting into the groove now. So... Just let me rewrite. Typically, at this point of time, I go into the war room and then meet with my team to collaborate and get some ideas. But now that I'm in this situation, I do a very quick simplification of this one, which is 10 cube minus 900 can be written as 9 times 1, 1, 1. So here I'm trying to apply the head mass concept. Yeah. Okay. And now... I'm thinking, how can I simplify four square? So I'll just write it down 16 and then seven times two, 14. So that that comes up that way. Now, this is the time where, especially when I'm going through the stress, I just want to take a deep breath. And then there is this concept called box breathing technique. Beautiful technique. Because I just want to remind you we're on a time. Yeah. So that's all part of the problem solving, by the way. Thanks for the reminder. I really appreciate it. 10 cube which is again, so first things first, let me simplify 16 minus 14 is 2. Yeah, then that just comes that way. Yeah. And then 9 can be written as 3 squared. Yeah, and 1, 1, 1. And then again, 10 Q can be written as 1000. Yeah. Again, I'm thinking if there are other concepts that I can apply here, I think I, I can probably simplify it now. 1000. Minus 999. So this is all the mental math now. Okay. What I'm trying to do, right? Absolutely. So far, I've done a lot of uh, straightforward math using the squares and cubes. Okay. And now this is more of the mental math that I was able to simplify this three square times okay. 100. And then that comes to 100, 999 plus 2. So that comes out to be 3, right? That's very impressive, sir. Yeah. Sometimes... That, that's really one of the skills that I have that I try to simplify the most complex things that are out there, applying the first principles, okay. simplify the problem, use the previous concepts that we know, and then just make it simple, right? I think there are a lot of people out there in the world who create complex problems, but my uh, skill is take a complex problem and then apply these, apply these very simple concepts to arrive at a solution. Good. I like the creativeness. You're high. Thank you.